Welcome to Getting to Know Google SecOps. I'm John Stoner, and today we are going to introduce the statistical function for median that you can use as you build searches and rules in Google SecOps. The median is calculated by taking all the values in a data set, ordering them from least to greatest, and then finding the value in the middle of the results set. Using our example here, we have a sample set of five, so the middle would be the third value in the data set. In this case, the third value is 2, so while the average is 2.8, the median value here is 2. If there is an even number of values in the sample set, Google SecOps will choose one of these values non-deterministically. The median function is window.median and requires two arguments, the numeric field or variable that is used to calculate the median, as well as a Boolean argument to ignore zero values. The window.average function does not require this Boolean condition, but the window.median does. This function assumes that the data in the rule or search is being aggregated, which means that there is a match section, and this function can be used in the outcome section. Let's start with a search of network connections and then aggregate the results by the combination of the principal and target IP addresses. This generates a listing of IP addresses in our search window. We can add the outcome section to perform a number of calculations based on the aggregated or grouped IP addresses. For our example, we have a count of all of the events in our results set, as well as counts of the number of events that have a network sent bytes value of zero and a separate count of non-zero values. Notice we're using sum as an aggregation function for these two outcome variables. In a previous video, we covered average and it's included here to help illustrate the difference between the average and median. We characterize the average in two ways, one that takes into account zero values and one that does not. We're going to do the same here with median. The reason why is that my network connection set contains GCP events, Sysmon, CoreLite, and other data, some of which contains byte counts and some that do not. For demonstration purposes, I want to show what an excessive number of zero values can do to my calculation and why it's nice to have the option in the arguments to include or exclude zero values. Again, there is applicability for both approaches. I just want to show you that there are options. In our results, we can see our IP address pairs with an event count and the subtotals. Notice some of our results do not have any non-zero values and consequently the median is zero. For pairs that have a mix of zero and non-zero values, we can see a disparity in our median as well as our average. I find it can be interesting to see how large the range can be between a median and an average, which also highlights outliers in the results set. Functions like median can also be used in rules. We can adapt our search to build a rule easily. The event section contains our criteria, the match section contains our aggregation or grouping, and we have added a time window of one hour. The outcome section contains the event count, average, and median, and we have the Boolean argument of true set in both to ignore the zero values. Finally, in our condition section, we have established a threshold for the number of events and the median value calculated within the one hour window between the two IP addresses, which will be our trigger to detect. When we test our rule, we can see that we have an IP device pair that has exceeded the event count and the median sent bytes threshold. We can display these values along with the average. The window median function provides another method to generate a statistical measure. The syntax is very straightforward, but it does require two arguments, the field or variable that is being calculated, as well as a true or false to denote whether zero value bytes should be factored into the median calculation. True will ignore zero values, false will include zero values. Finally, functions starting with the word window are viewed as aggregation functions, much like max, sum, and count. So additional aggregation functions prepended to it in the outcome section are not needed. If you want to learn more about Google SecOps, check out my blog series called New to Google SecOps for more handy tips. 
We have a number of community URL detections at our GitHub site and are continually adding more. And don't forget to engage the security community at secopscommunity.com.